guys so bullhorn betty here i don't know what's going on but there's some crazy stuff going on out there in the streets right and this one's coming from georgia this is uh lithia springs georgia where uh this is an officer involved shooting of two people two people um, are in stable condition but two people have been shot by law enforcement on may 10th uh, there was a 911 call that came into Hobb County Police Department and around um, right before uh, midnight on May 9th, uh, they received a call from a, a man that said that uh, there was an armed man in his house and an unknown woman and they were trying to take his daughter um, by force and the guy has a gun and is a convicted felon. And all this stuff happened. This guy took off. He there was a, a second occupant, the female, in the car, and um, they ended up going on a two-county, like high-speed chase, where law enforcement ended up doing this pit maneuver. Here, anyways, here, listen to this, and then after this, we're going to go into the press release and uh, from GBI, and then I'll give additional commentaries. A Georgia cop shoots two people who allegedly attempted to take a man's daughter away. This is crazy. So Georgia police officers shot two people after chasing them through a county through two counties near Atlanta, authorities said Wednesday. Late Tuesday, Cobb County Police Department officers responded to a report of an armed man and an unknown woman in a vehicle. The caller said they were at his home attempting to take his daughter, according to the statement issued by the Georgia Bureau of Investigations. Officers saw the vehicle and attempted to stop it when they arrived at the scene, but police said the driver refused to stop. Officers chased the vehicle into neighboring Douglas County where they performed a pit maneuver, which involved bumping the rear fender of the fleeing vehicle to cause it to spin out. The move ended the pursuit in Lithia Springs, Georgia. So again, just wanting to bring awareness uh, to this. As officers approached the vehicles, police said the driver began reaching under his seat. The responding officer then shot the man and the woman in the passenger seat. They were taken to Grady Memorial Hospital are in, in, are in stable condition, Fox 5 reports. A gun was recovered from inside the vehicle, the GBI statement said later determined the man who was shot is the biological father of the woman inside the home where the 911 call originated. The caller is a woman's stepfather. GBI said it will conduct an independent investigation of the shooting and report its finding to Douglas Judicial Circuit District Attorney's Office. The actual press link, um, uh, press release that GBI originally put out about the officer involved shooting and it happened on May 10th in Lithia Springs. The GBI is investigating an officer involved shooting in Lithia Springs, Douglas County, Georgia. The Cobb County Police Department asked the GBI to conduct an independent investigation on Wednesday, May 10th, 2023. One man and one woman were shot and are in stable condition at Grady Hospital. No officers were injured during this incident. The preliminary information indicates on Tuesday, May 9, 2023, at 11.51 p.m., CCPD officers were responding to 1982 Drennan Avenue, Austell, Cobb County, Georgia, regarding a 911 call of an armed man. The caller indicated an armed man and an unknown woman were inside at his home attempting to take his daughter. He also stated the man had a gun and is, is a convicted felon. The caller gave a description of the vehicle they were in. Responding officers saw the described vehicle leaving the area of the incident. Officers attempted to stop the vehicle, but the driver refused to stop. Officers chased the vehicle into neighboring Douglas County. CCPD officers performed a pit maneuver and ended the pursuit on Thornton Road in Lithia Springs. An officer, as officers approached the vehicle, the driver identified as Ricardo Thuggled, age 38 of Douglasville, began reaching under the driver's seat. The responding officers shot Tuggled 
and during the incident the woman passenger was also shot. A gun was recovered from inside the vehicle and it has been determined that Tuggle is the biological father of the woman he was trying to take from the Ostella home and the 911 caller is the woman's stepfather. The GBI will conduct an independent investigation of the officer involved shooting once complete the case file will begin will be given to Douglas Judicial Circuit District Attorney's Office for review. So there you have it. This again seems a little odd. Please stay tuned for my commentary. So you see what I'm saying? Um, as you saw in the news article, which was a little different than the um, GBI press release. I like the GBI press release. It seemed to be a little more detailed, a little more thorough uh, than the, the actual article that was originally read. But here's the confusing part about it. Like, did this man, um, you know, it, it didn't seem like he identified the person with a gun, which ended up being um, his stepdaughter's biological father. So he had to have known who he was, first and foremost. And, you know, again, with him being a convicted felon and going in there and actually having a gun in the car, uh, it makes me wonder, did he go in there to uh, kidnap his daughter back? Um, you know, how long has he been out of prison? What, where did all this come from? Uh, was he under the influence of uh, drugs or alcohol? And um, who is the primary caregiver of this child? I'm assuming it's the stepfather. So I have to think that this was really, really scary. Um, for the step the stepfather and very very scary for the the daughter slash stepdaughter and and you got to remember that that daughter slash stepdaughter was also shot so her father that kidnapped her and took her on this high speed chase ended up getting her shot now is it possible that um, the daughter was willfully leaving? The stepfather and called her father to come get her. Uh, we don't know those details either, so I'm very interested in this. It does sound like this uh, child had to have been under age, so I'm assuming that the child is uh, under the age of 18, but again, it doesn't elaborate too much in this article. Let me know your thoughts. Um, this was just a weird, bizarre case, you know, where um, a stepfather appears to have custody of the child and the father is um, strong, you know, basically kidnaps, bur breaks in, burglarizes, and kidnaps the daughter. So, uh, you know, or am I missing something? Is there another perspective that I'm not looking at? Anyways, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Bullhorn Betty channel. Have a great day. God bless each and every one of you. And please be kind to one another.